there Vault Dwellers, Naked Vault Dweller here and in this video we're going to continue our series of Fallout 76 camp builds by highlighting another unique camp inside Fallout 76. Before we get started please take this moment to give this video a thumbs up as it's always helpful to the lifespan of this video. And if you're not already subscribed to the Naked Vault Dweller YouTube channel please give us a try today. We'd love to have you here. Well, the Fallout 76 community never ceases to amaze me and wow, there's some talent out there in building camps. And some of you might remember in our last Camp of the Week video, we highlighted the camp space of Magpie 2210. I know I got your name wrong, Magpie, so I hope Spike doesn't mind me squeezing the correction into this video. And at any rate, our first Camp of the Week video went pretty well, enough so that I got a few players interested in showcasing the camps of other amazing players. And let me just say, you players have some outstanding talents and imagination. Some of the ideas you guys have just blow me away. So this week we're focusing on Spike Johnson, a Fallout 76 player from the Netherlands. Spike hunted me down on Discord and asked me to come look at a project he'd been working on. When I got there, I knew it had to be the next camp of the week. And speaking of Discord, did you know we have a Naked Vault Dweller Discord channel? Follow the link in the description, we'd love to have you join us there also. When I arrived at Spike's camp, I knew I'd laid eyes on something I'd definitely never seen before in Fallout 76. Spike has made his entire camp in the form of a ship and has moored it right on the outside of Thunder Mountain Power Plant. And just as a refresher on these camp builds, I try not to replicate everything in the whole camp, just a small portion of that in my own camp. And moving right along to Spike's ship, Spike has affectionately named his ship The Architect. Equipped with a ladder and even a plank, there's no question as to what theme we're going for here. A pirate theme. Arg. I like how we have a mast in the middle of the ship with a crow's nest. The wires leading to the deck create a nice rope-like aesthetic. Threatening pirates beware, on the front of this ship we have equipped this massive cannon to fend off invaders. Moving into the captain's quarters we'll find a nicely laid out room which piques my interest for replication. And the decorations spread out well and its simplicity really affirms a captain of strength, or at least that sounds good to say. Moving into the hull of the ship we won't find any booty, yeah I just said booty, instead we'll find cots and the brig of the ship. And woe unto these poor chaps. Especially this one. Okay, so there's a lot of nice reproducible features to the ship. I like the mass and all the details that was put into making it. I also really like the bow of the ship with the figurehead. Because I have some space limitations, I think I'll attempt to recreate a portion of the captain's quarters for us today. So let's move on over to my camp and see what we can put together. First, we're going to want to do away with last week's project. Sorry, Magpie. I think we're going to need some space for the floors here too. We'll just throw them down in the back room. Now that we have the floors down, let's get the walls up and going. For some reason, I don't think I have the same roof structure as Spike used in his pirate ship. Maybe no one will notice I use these. Let's dress all the curtains around the windows. Change the wallpaper to match. Let's hang all the wall candles and space them out accordingly. Nice lot there, Spike. Now to place this desk here. Our mounted ride toad over here. Now for our riding desk chair. Lights on the desk, shelving and items on the shelf. I'll just put a plush down for items I don't have. Now the rug here on the floor. I don't have the same table that Spike used so I'll just use this one. And the captain's chair first, then the chairs for all the non-essentials. Lights above the table, place another table against the wall here place a red vase. I couldn't find the same plant. I hope this one works. And a uh, plushie because I don't have a freaking clue what that other thing is. Finally, the captain's footlocker. And that just about does it. This quaint little area took almost no time to replicate and is spaced out really well. The color does look good and it's not overly cluttered with items. I'm glad I chose a simpler one here to recreate because Spike is just a master of this stuff. So well done, Spike Johnson, and thanks for letting me highlight your camp as a camp of the week. If you're on PC and would like to have your camp showcase, leave a comment down below and maybe we'll make your camp the next camp of the week. Until next time, everybody, thanks for watching and take care.